having to remove your hijab in front of men or knowing that men are going to see it is 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 very offensive and and it's kind of demeaning and dehumanizing in in a way that that I don't think the government can sustain a burden of proving that they have a need for that. A Muslim woman who is required to cover her hair as part of our religion because of modesty and, and piety um, in front of all men that they're not closely related to or married to is their sincerely held religious beliefs. And it's our um, proposition that this photograph policy violates that in a way that's, that's against the U.S. Constitution. And the importance of the, the religious rights of incarcerated um, individuals is so important that our federal legislature, the, our Congress, enacted a law that actually solidifies that right. They are um, incarcerated and Michigan Department of Corrections has a policy that requires them to remove their religious head covering for the purposes of an identification photo. That identification photo is then put on a card that they have to carry around and present to staff and guards alike, whether they're male or female. It also requires them to publish that photograph on a public database that's accessible by a Google search of people's names from the Michigan Department of Corrections. So it's led to women having their um, hijabless photo be exposed to public consumption in a way that's very uh, violative of their religious rights. So we spent about two years trying to reach out to the Michigan Department of Corrections, reaching out to chaplains, reaching out to wardens, reaching out to um, the special activities coordinator, which is the person who oversees religious policies, um, e even the director, and they were not willing to even discuss this, this matter with us. So after about two years and about 15 complaints, we uh, found it necessary to file a suit in order to protect the religious rights of these women. This is a nationwide um, epidemic of problems for the Muslim community. Um, our One of our affiliate chapters filed suit in New York last this summer over um, somebody in New York having their headscarf removed while pro, uh, for being after being arrested for protesting um, during the Black Lives Matter protest that, that arose this summer. We have another lawsuit in New York, um, in Florida, one in LA, one in Washington State. This issue that I'm specifically speaking about was settled in in a court in Minnesota, and the court in Minnesota said that you know their ruling was basically that the states need to get on board with this because this photograph policy is against social and um, legal norms and, and it needs to be changed. So we have good legal precedent, but it is something that's facing Muslim women across the country.